In this session, I'm going to show you how to embed a Twitter feed onto a SharePoint page. It's relatively straightforward, but I've had a few people ask me, so I thought I'd take you through the process. So we start off by going to Twitter itself to build the widget. So what you do is you log into your Twitter account and on your page, if you go up to the menu and go to the settings option, you'll get the option on the left hand side to choose widgets. So in this area here, you can create your own widget. Um, so if you click create widget, you can create a widget for your own account, or it could be another account. As long as you've got the address of it, you can put it in, in there. And you can also choose if you want you know, to exclude replies on there, which you probably do if it's a business or um, school account. Um, and you've got a few other settings here. You haven't got a huge amount of choice, so you can change the link color, um, and you can change the height of it. So you can change these settings and then when you're ready to generate the code, you just press save changes at the bottom. There are some other options available at the top other than just a user timeline. And this will generate the code at the bottom of the page, which you can copy and paste into SharePoint. So I'm just going to copy this into Notepad just to show you. So it's really just a line of JavaScript um, and a link tag in HTML. So you can add this to a SharePoint page. You just go to um, edit page in the options and then it's under the media and content category. It's called the script editor web part. And that's the web part that we want to add to the page. So once you've added that, you can edit the snippet, which lets you copy and paste in HTML or JavaScript. And that's where we paste in that code that we copied from the Twitter page. And then just save that page and it should load. So we've got that um, timeline embedded on our page now. You can see at the bottom, it's got a reply to section and you may want to customize things like that. And you can do that um, from the Twitter page when you're logged into Twitter. There is a link that points to the customization document. And on this page, you've got the option to make all sorts of changes. You don't have to be a developer to be able to use these um, variables. If you scroll down towards the bottom of the page, you've got a no header, no footer, no borders option. Um, and it's very simple to add those variables to your code that you've got. In fact, it gives you an example at the bottom. And what, I'll do, what I'll do is I'll just copy that line from the example that doesn't include the footer and just paste that into my code inside Notepad. So I'll get rid of the no borders option. I just want to hide the footer. And then I can copy and paste the whole thing into a SharePoint script editor web part. So I'm just going to edit that page and edit that snippet. And once I've saved that and saved the page, you should see that the uh, Twitter feed is rendered, but without that bottom footer like that. If you've got any other questions about SharePoint or Office 365, um, feel free to contact us via our website or by our email address on the screen now.